Hi, my name is Matt Good. I'm the Vice President of PC McKenzie Company and I'm here at People's Gas CNG Station here at Pitt Street in Pittsburgh. I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of the station from inlet to uh, discharge and show you all the components of the station. The starting point is gas. Uh, and every LDC or local distribution company provides gas to customers throughout the region. The gas flows in through a meter set and in through a gas pressure regulator. The gas will follow through into this piece of equipment. This piece of equipment is the CNG dryer. So in order to fuel vehicles correctly, you need to have a gas dryer on the inlet side of your station. That dryer will take the incoming gas from the people's gas line and dry that moisture out of it. After the gas is dried, it will flow through into the compressor. This is your compressor package. And what it does is it takes the inlet gas, it'll go through each one of the stages of the compressor, gradually upping the pressure until it reaches four stage where it discharges off of the compressor skid. After the gas gets compressed, it discharges off skid and is put into these storage vessels. They have a three bank storage system, low, mid, and high. When a vehicle comes to pull up to fill, they will pull out of low bank first, then medium bank, and top off at high bank. So the last component of a fueling station is the dispenser, where a vehicle pulls up to fill up. The dispenser island is right here and functions exactly the same as a normal gasoline station would be. You have a fuel pump, you connect your nozzle to the vehicle and begin flowing gas. It is that simple.